you wanted to know how a computer reads code, and it's a pretty complicated answer, but I'll, I'll do my best. The short version is it's not reading the code. Uh, the code, typically a high-level language like a Python or a Java or whatever your favorite language is, um, is designed in such a way to be relatively human understandable. But computers don't work the same way that a human brain does. So in order for a computer to actually execute that code, it first needs to be converted into a format that the computer can understand, and that's called compiling. In a language like a Java or a C++, that compiling needs to happen in advance before you even try to run the code. But in a scripting language like, say, a Python, it kind of happens on the fly. But what is compiling? Compiling is the process of taking that high-level, meaning human understandable, code and converting it into a series of low-level, meaning machine understandable, instructions. Ultimately, the computer processor, uh, the thing that's actually running the program, it never sees the code. What it sees is a set of binary numbers, and those binary numbers are formatted in such a way that they encode operands. Uh, an operand being a simple mathematical operation like an add or a logical and or uh, even just like shifting a binary number to the left or to the right. And the way in which that processor knows to convert that binary number into that operand or even uh, the set of operands that that processor is able to support, uh, that's all part of the processor's design. That's the instruction set. Different types of processors will have different instruction sets. So uh, one of the more common uh, types of processors is what's called the x86 processor, although it might uh, technically be x64. I'm not sure. I'm not a computer engineer. Um, that's the type of processor that runs most Windows laptops these days. But a different type of processor that is rising in popularity are ARM-based processors. So your phone probably uses an ARM-based processor. Uh, the current generation of Macs, you know, the M1, M2, M3, M4 processors, those are all uh, ARM processors. And even some Windows PCs are starting to come out with ARM processors. And they have a different instruction set. So that's why one of the main innovations when Apple switched from an x86 to an ARM architecture uh, is they in released a library called Rosetta. And uh, Rosetta converted x86 instruction sets into an ARM instruction set so that the ARM processor could run x86 code, which is not exactly a world away from the same thing that compilers do. Obviously, I'm glossing over a bunch of details, but that's basically how it works. You write human readable code that then gets converted into machine code uh, that then runs on the processor as just pure numbers, pure math, and then when you go to display that output, you do other conversions that bring it back to a human readable format. So uh, I hope that helps. I hope that was understandable. Have a, have a wonderful day.